Hey everybody, today we're going to do an example of a hypothesis test for proportions. Here's the problem we're looking at. A university advertises that 65% of its students graduate in four years or less. I worry that they're exaggerating, so I go out and I collect a simple random sample. I talk to 120 people and I find that of that sample, 68 of 120 graduated in that time frame. That's less than 65%, by the way. So at some level or another, it's going to provide evidence against the university's claim. Is it strong evidence or is it um, plausible that this just happened due to random chance? Let's find a p-value and make a decision at significance level alpha equals 0.05. As always, we want to start by specifically writing down a null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the results really are just due to random chance, that the proportion of students that graduate in four years or less really is 0.65. The alternative hypothesis is that in fact the university is exaggerating their graduation rate and that the population proportion really is less than 0.65. I've decided to go with a one-sided alternative hypothesis here because I really don't care about the possibility that, that the graduation rate is over 65%. I have specific reason to only be interested in this one direction. Um, we're now going to assume that the null hypothesis is true, that the population proportion really is 0.65, and compute the probability of getting a result at least as extreme as the one we got just by random chance. So the central limit theorem says that when n is large, and here n is plenty large, the sampling distribution of the proportion p hat is going to be approximately normal with mean equal to the population mean p and standard deviation equal to the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. So here we've assumed the null hypothesis is true, so our p is going to be 0.30. The sample proportion that we got is 68 over 120. We just need to plug those things in, like so. Do a little bit of simplification, and we get a z-score of negative 1.91. We want to know the probability of getting a p hat more extreme than the one we got. Um, in other words, less than or equal to the one we got. In terms of z-scores, that means finding the probability of getting a z-score less than or equal to the one we got. There's the picture. To compute that probability, we need to do a normal CDF. We're going to um, look in a table, use a web app, use R. Um, I use R. The command in R is p-norm, p-norm of negative 1.91 and I get 0 0.28. So obviously that's less than the significance level alpha that we set. We reject the null hypothesis. It is reasonable to conclude that the university has been overestimating their four-year graduation rate. 